our guest today is Kevin Alushala of Pentatonix. Uh, he's got a great podcast out now uh, called Imagine Faith Talk. I'm looking at the name of it, Kevin, because I'm always have trouble uh, memorizing, but it's it's really good. Uh, you and your friend uh, uh, Donovan D. Uh, Donnell, uh, he's an entrepreneur and a life coach. Uh, you guys have done just an incredible job with this. Thank um, you. Ke Kevin, how did you guys start this? Did it start off uh, just with a, a Bible session, a Bible study session? Uh, how did it get started? That's exactly how it started. When I came into the music industry with Pentatonix, one of the things I noticed was that I didn't have a lot of people to talk to about how do you try to do what you're called to do within an industry that's not necessarily built for the Christian, if you will. And so as I continued going, I realized there were other Daniels out in this world, right? Daniel goes in, he's taken to be a captive in Babylon. He learns the rites and the rituals of Babylon, but he still remains true to the one true God. And not only does he do that, but he also becomes a leader out of 120 leaders because of the excellent spirit that was found in him. So I started a Bible study with those Daniels in mind, those people who are trying to be in Los Angeles, but do some really interesting and good work. And through that, that's how I met Donovan. And Donovan had, and I had some food in L.A. We got together for some lunch at a, at a vegan restaurant and we became close friends. And he ended up helping me work on the Bible study. We continued doing it throughout 2020 as the, the pandemic happened and moved it over Zoom. That's how we met our, our, our producer, Core. I knew him 10 years ago from Beijing when I was living there as a, as a Chinese major. And he said he was seeking God. And he, I told him, come to this Bible study. And when he came to the Bible study, he said, this is actually a podcast, y'all. I need you to pray on it for one week. And so Donovan and I did that at the end of 2020, and we got a resounding yes from God. That's the reason we decided to start doing the Bible study and move that Bible study over to a podcast. And we developed it over a year and a half. And now we're getting an opportunity by God's grace to, to share it with others. Well, what can people expect when they listen to the podcast? What, what kind of topics do you guys cover? Sure. Well, I think the biggest thing that we want people to have is that not only do you need to have faith in God, but you also have to optimize your performance, right? Faith and works are necessary together. Faith without works is dead. Faith without with weak works, if you will, is futile. So how do we optimize the work that we can do? Time management, productivity, clarity. These things that if you're trying to be in the world and you have to perform well, how do you, how do you maximize those things but within the uniqueness that God has given you specifically, right? Our goal is not to be, if you want to put an orchestra analogy, I'm not trying to be an oboe if God's calling me to be a French horn. I'm supposed to be the best French hornist that I can be so that my frequency when I play, it gets to the sphere of influence that God has called for me very specifically to reach. So that's why we want people to optimize their faith and their works to be able to be the best for God. Now, you grew up in Owensboro, Kentucky. Yes. Uh, I believe I grew up in Tennessee, so we might have been neighbors at some point during their sort of but I, I'm just curious, did, did you grow up in a Christian home? I mean, how, how did you come to, to your faith? Completely. My dad, my mom, they were both very strong Christians, um, both Seventh-day Adventists, and they always taught me about God. And I always knew that it was going to be an important part of my life. But I think as I got into the music industry, when I finally decided that I wasn't supposed to go into medicine like my dad had kind of helped me, it, he had his influence on me there. When I decided to go into music and said, I really started to have to trust God because this was not my path. This was not the path that I chose. This was God's path for me. And when I trusted him and I had to dig deep into the word so I could make sure I am still his child, he did things that I could have never imagined, like being pentatonics. Of course, God doesn't promise that exactly, these accolades, but he says that I'm going to be with you. And he has been with me this whole time. How has your faith helped you stay grounded? Because you've had so much success in the past decade or so. Um, and, you know, I've seen you on TV, people watching this have seen you on TV, singing, been to your concerts. How has your faith in its intersected and maybe helped you stay grounded when you become famous? Sure. Well, I think knowing that I was doing this partnering with God, this was not about the fame for me. And I knew it couldn't be. So I think remembering that whenever I garner accolades, the glory comes to God, right? 
this is so important for us in the podcast, right? Why do we try to maximize who we are? The purpose is that whenever we go out there and do what we're called to do in the world and we receive those things, because we've done it in partnership with God, now we can't say it was all us. Yeah. That's the difference between a partnership with God and without a partnership with God. A lot of people, without God, they say, it's me, it's me. It's I, I. With God, you have now had the partnership to now where you can go back and reflect him. We were never meant to absorb glory. We were always meant to reflect it. So remembering that, that has always kept me humble and grounded because this is this is the story is not about me it just isn't 